Hi everyone, in this video we will provide a quick overview of the BA in Quantitative Economics. The information in this video will help give you an idea of what your major is and what classes you'll need to take to earn a degree. First, we'll go over a quick recap of the School of Social Sciences math requirement before we talk about the major requirements as well as department basics and opportunities. So in addition to your UC and UCI requirements, all students within the School of Social Sciences are required to complete the mathematics requirement and the computer technology requirement. As a quantitative economics major, you actually have specific classes that you'll need to take for these requirements as these classes will also count for your major. For the mathematics requirement, you will have to take Math 2A, Math 2B, Math 3A, and then either the Statistics 120A BC series or the Mathematics 130A BC series. These will complete certain major requirements as well as the math requirement. For first year students, there are some of you who might already be able to start with Math 2A, depending on if you have AP or other exam scores, but many of you will either need to start with Math 1A, Math 1B, or you will need to take the Calculus Placement exam. For more information on the Calculus Placement exam, you can visit the UCI Testing Center's website. For transfer students, you most likely already completed calculus at your community college, which would fulfill Math 2A and Math 2B. Please remember that all math courses must be taken for a letter grade only. The other school requirement you will need to complete is the computer technology requirement. For this requirement, you can take Social Sciences 3A or ICS, 30, or ICS 31. We do recommend our students usually take Soci 3A as it will be much easier to get into that class um, as it is open to all Social Sciences students and is not restricted, while ICS is initially restricted to ICS students. Oh, uh, one last thing. Uh, for the computer technology requirement, those two classes can be taken for pass uh, or pass no pass or for a letter grade, uh, but the mathematics requirement must be taken for a letter grade. Okay, so now we're going to talk a little bit about the economics department. Here at UCI, the Department of Economics is focused on the study of the way individuals make choices, microeconomics, the way governments make choices, public choice, and the aggregate consequences of choices, macroeconomics. Some sample courses you'll be taking are global economy, economics of law, international money. Uh, these are just to name a few. Some opportunities within the department are the economics honors program, the specialization of internalization issues in economics, and the honor society Pi Omicron Delta. If you have questions about these opportunities, please feel free to check out the website, which is linked here. So while this video is specifically about the quantitative economics degree, it is good to know that we have three majors in total under the economics department. These are economics, business economics, and quantitative economics. The economics major is designed for students seeking a broad education applicable to occupations in business, law, and government. The business economics major is designed for students seeking a business orientation in the study of economics and provides a rigorous foundation for business, management, accounting, finance, and economic theory. The last major, your major is quantitative economics. This major is designed for students seeking quantitative careers in finance, business, law, and graduate studies in the social sciences. Uh, we really recommend students who are planning to go to grad school in economics uh, pursue this major. Okay, so now we're going to go over the major requirements for the BA in quantitative economics. To start with, you'll need to take two social sciences introductory courses. These classes will be from social sciences disciplines outside of economics, so classes in anthropology, uh, language science, maybe sociology. The full list of classes that count towards this requirement are listed on the degree check to your right. These can also be found under uh, these can also be found in the general catalog under the BA in quantitative economics. You'll need to take two basic economics courses, Econ 20A and Econ 20B. As we mentioned before, you'll need to take Math 2A, Math 2B, and Math 3A. And then for your probability and statistics series, you have the option of taking Statistics 120A, B, and C, or Mathematics 130A, B, and C. Please keep in mind that these series are a year long, and they start in fall and end in spring. You'll take two econometrics courses, which are Econ 123 and Econ 123B. You'll take three intermediate quantitative econ courses, uh, Econ 105, A, B, and C, and you'll also take two quantitative elective courses. For the quantitative electives, you will need to choose two specific courses from the list provided on the degree check to the right. Once again, this list can be found in the UCI general catalog. In addition, you'll take two econ elective courses and both will need to be upper division. Finally, the last requirement you'll need to take is one economics upper division writing class. 
So you would not need to find another class for your upper division writing GE as this major requirement will also fulfill your upper division writing GE. As a reminder, lower division courses at UCI are numbered 1 through 99, while upper division courses are numbered 100 through 199. You can always ask an advisor about which classes you can take for certain requirements. One last thing that is extremely important for quantitative econ majors to know is that you must take the Econ 105 ABC series and the Econ 123 AB series to remain as a quantitative economics major. So you might see um, some of your friends maybe who are econ majors or business econ majors taking the Econ 100 series or the Econ 122 series. These two series cannot be substituted for the quantitative econ major requirements, so it is essential to keep this in mind when looking at classes to ensure that you enroll in the proper ones uh, as a quantitative econ major. Uh, just because if you, if you happen to take the other courses, you will not be able to continue in the quantitative economics major. All right, so this was just a brief overview of the quantitative economics major. If you have any questions, feel free to email us or visit our website for more information. Bye, everyone.